And she rises. Question number two, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received on momentum building in the economy, particularly trends in jobs, wages and business confidence? Honourable Bill English, Speaker. Treasury has released its monthly economic indicators for February, which indicates that the positive momentum in the economy in the September 2013 quarter appears to have continued into the December quarter. The number of people employed increased by 66,600 in 2013, unemployment fell to 6% and total weekly gross earnings were 5.2% higher than a year earlier, reflecting the combined effect of wage and jobs growth. Labour force participation, that is the proportion of the adult population uh, available for work is close to a 28-year high. Uh, the rate of building consents is at the highest level since 2008 and has doubled since 2011. Consumer and business confidence are relatively high. All this adds to momentum building in the economy. Speaker. Supplementary question, in McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How are more jobs, higher wages and improving growth contributing to the rebalancing of the economy? Honourable uh, Bill Speaker, English. The government is focused on a more productive and competitive economy, and that means uh, working to rebalance the economy so more of it is exposed to world trade. Uh, last month's trade balance of $306 million surplus was the highest ever recorded in January. Now, we know that that is driven to a large extent by the rebound of dairy prices. Uh, in the long term, we need to see less government spending and less domestic consumption and more focus on profitable export sectors that earn a living for New Zealand from the rest of the world. Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, in McKelvey. What recent reports has he sent on business confidence and outlook for economic growth? Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, the importance of uh, business confidence is that it tends to drive investment decisions. So when business is confident about the future, it's more likely to borrow the money uh, or raise it from other sources and invest uh, in the plant and equipment and the opportunities for more higher paying jobs. Without that confidence, we won't get the investment in the better paying jobs. The ANZ survey uh, and its business outlook shows that 71 per cent of firms are optimistic. That is the highest level, wait for it, the highest level since 1994. And we hope to, by consistent policy, convert that confidence into higher levels of investment, which will benefit New Zealanders' jobs and incomes. Supplementary Speaker. question, in McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. As the economy returns to growth, what step is, steps is the government taking to build on recent gains? Yes. Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the government is focused on locking in gains from this <coughs> positive outlook where the government has a direct role in doing so. Uh, last week we confirmed the adult minimum wage would increase to $14.25 an hour from $13.75 an hour. The minimum wage has increased uh, from $12 an hour in April 2008, so it's increased by almost 19 per cent in that time. The government has sought to balance the needs of workers and businesses to keep the minimum wage at around 50 per cent of the average wage, and that relationship of a minimum wage at 50 per cent of the average wage is the highest in the OECD. Question number three, Honourable David Parker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.